Hey guys, how's it going today? My name's Hakobo, and today I'm going to be talking about how to use Serum Effects properly for FL Studio. Now, if you're not sure what Serum Effects is, it actually allows you to put an instance of Serum on one of your buses and allowed an audio input going through that bus to be affected by pretty much anything that Serum can do to manipulate a sound, which is really cool. Now, if you're like me and downloaded Serum through Splice and are not very sure on where to get Serum Effects, you actually have to go on their website. And when you initially started to pay for Serum through Splice, it should have required you to create an account with Expert Records. So you sign in with that account, you click on Serum here, you click Download Serum, and then at the bottom, you'll see a download section where you can get it for whatever operating system you're using. So that being said, let's go ahead and use something different than Serum to, hey, why not Massive? to kind of showcase this. And I'm just gonna put some notes down on middle C like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put this onto my first bus right here and load up Serum FX. And you'll see up here at the top, it loads right into the, uh, the FX chain right here. It says FX version right here, but you'll notice that you still have access to everything right here. So let's go ahead and throw something like uh, a filter on. So it's automatically, you know, cutting off the higher frequencies. Now let's say that I wanted to use an LFO and put it on here and have that work. Now you'll notice that when I play some notes, the LFOs aren't cycling through, the envelopes aren't cycling through, and if I were to turn on an oscillator and let's pitch it up, nothing changes. And the reason this is because Serum FX requires you to input MIDI notes from a MIDI plugin. So I'll show you what that is exactly. We go up and to add, go down to MIDI, and there's MIDI out. Now, you don't actually have to worry about any of the knobs or anything. All you care about is the port that you're outputting. And what that does is it allows you to go in here, go up to the little cog wheel on top of uh, Serum FX, click this right here, and you can change the input port to the same number. We're just doing one. Make sure it doesn't interfere with other instances of Serum Effects or any other uh, MIDI that you're messing with. <clears throat> and what that does is it allows you to now put notes in here that will trigger the LFO and anything else you're trying to do. Now, the notes here represent the length of what's being inputted directly into Serum Effects. So if you don't want a certain filter to go a certain length, you can go ahead and change the notes themselves to fit whatever pattern or whatever kind of a uh, note structure you're trying to affect. Just try to keep that in mind as you're laying notes down. What else you'll notice is that whatever, let's say we put it on an E. If you go into Serum Effects and turn on an oscillator, you'll now notice that when I start playing, Not only is it cycling through the LFO, it is also playing any oscillators that I turn on relative to whatever MIDI notes that I put down. So you can actually add a sine wave tone or something else to a sound if you wanted to try to beef it up or mess around with the oscillators any way that you want. On top of this, you can also turn on the noise oscillator and you'll notice it says audio in right here. What this does is it now routes whatever sound is coming through the, uh, the bus in through the noise oscillator. And now you can actually use this filter right here. This is on by default, the, uh, the noise box. And you can put on another filter. So this allows you to have another filter that you can visually see and do cool stuff with. This leaves you plenty of cool options for manipulating your samples. For example, if you put down a white noise riser, you can go into Serum FX, turn on distortion, go ahead and put down sample. Now, if you don't want to set up a MIDI, with uh, Serum FX, you can always just touch a knob, move it around, go up to Tools, and go to Last Tweak right here, and click Create Automation Clip, and go ahead and automate it so that as the white noise goes along, you can have some really cool effects. Another thing that I really enjoy doing is taking vocal samples such as one-liners or even chants and applying a comb filter to them in order to get a cool effect out of it. Especially in heavier music, I feel like, uh, like neuro music, uh, the metal effect adds a really cool um, touch to your vocals. So you can just go ahead and put a comb filter on, turn up the resonance and 
automate it as you see fit or just mess around with it. And that wraps up how to use Serum Effects for FL Studio. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave a comment down below as I read all of them. Like and subscribe if you feel like supporting me as it really helps me out. If you're interested in knowing how to do this with Ableton, ArtFX actually has a video explaining the way to set it all up. So I'll actually link his video down in the description so you can check him out. Other than that, hope you have a great day.